Hey, what is going on, guys? It is your self-proclaimed mediocre Pokemon Master here, Tiggly Man, coming at you with a ranked battle stadium doubles live. Today we're gonna be getting into more like um, VGC content, but want to try this out for a while now. This is kind of where actually like a majority of my roots came from. Like two and a half years ago, when I first picked up Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, I immediately divvied into VGC, but then I discovered Pokemon Showdown and immediately started playing singles. So this is my first time playing doubles. Well, I was playing doubles um, a couple days ago. But, this is really my first time picking it back up in about two and a half years. So here is my team in preparation for Galar Newcomers. That is an online competition that Pokemon is hosting that is coming up, I believe it's this weekend. I'll uh, post details in the description down below. But this is the team prep for it, that's why every Pokemon's Gen 8. I'm not just doing that just because I love Gen 8 Mons, I'm doing it because the competition only allows new Mons. So here, as always in the majority of my videos, I've been running Dragapult for speed control. So here we have a Choice Specs Dragapult with uh, standard coverage, Draco Meteor, Shadow Ball, Fire Blast, and U-Turn for Momentum. We got a Choice Scarfed Armanitan with Icicle Crash, Flare Blitz, Superpower, and U-Turn. Now at first I was running Rungarus with Trick Room instead of Grimmsnarl, but I noticed the Dracovish Wismacot set was destroying my team. Their tail went up and Dr Dracovish would destroy this team. But other than that, I haven't found anything that's too detrimental to this team. So I opted for a Focus Sash Grimmsnarl to get Fake Out, um, get the Reflect up if need be to cut Dracovish's Ficious Rend in half, and Dracozolt, if that is the case too, cut their damage in half, um, and then just standard coverage on Spirit Break and Sucker Punch. He is kind of a mixed bulk, uh, max HP, a little bit of speed, a little bit of attack, just so he can outspeed other Grimmsnarls. And then here's kind of like the pride and joy of the team. This is Assault Vested Colossal. This guy's kind of a beast once um, the Sandstorm is set. He goes. Like, he is very very bulky. Um, unfortunately, his special attack is a bit lackluster, especially there's no other way to boost it other than getting your um, sunny day up to boost damage. But that's what's fun about him, because you can choose to be bulkier if you needed to be, or you can choose to do more damage. And with him having Rock Stab, you get the stab move that also breaks Focus Sashes, depending on their type. And here we're running a Weakness Policy Corviknight, with uh, a usual set Body Press, Brave Bird, Iron Head, Bulk Up. Um, Weakness Policy Corviknight was uh, kind of odd, but I put this set on here in case they wanted to use a Fire-type attack like Charizard on Corviknight to uh, KO him immediately. I can just go right into Colossal, who also has Flash Fire, and I can eat that up and get my boost and then begin to roll. And then um, we have Duraludon, just to help stop uh, Trick Room and being another um, decently physically bulky pivot. That's why I run with the Wiki Berry, so he can get a little bit of recovery if he gets hit by a hefty hit or whatnot. And of course he has Stalwart, so um, if anyone's going to use Follow Me or Rage Powder... It ain't gonna work. Without further ado, guys, let's uh, get into my first handful of filmed ranked matches. I'm only at Pokeball tier, so uh, this is gonna be kind of a learning experience for myself, and you guys get to watch me learn. I hope these uh, matches go decently well, because I don't want to flop today, but we'll see. The playing dynamics in this, uh, the sets that are ran on Mons are a lot different than in singles. And uh, it's really neat. It's a different take on things. And I've been having a good time doing it. Posing trainers but found. Let's see what we got going on here. As a Kalam. Okay. So he has the Gastrodon, Grimmsnarl, Wismica, Arcanine, Duraludon. There's the Dracozolt. I haven't versed a Dracozolt team yet, but I've seen plenty of videos of these online. So I think what we're going to do here... I am going to lead... Who do I want to lead here? I will lead Darmanitan, Grimmsnarl, then just to help with speed priority, I'll keep Dragapult in the back, and I think Colossal looks decent here. So I'm going to try bringing Colossal. Let's see what we can do. The goal is hopefully going to be that my Grimmsnarl outspeeds his and I can fake him out and uh, really put some pressure down with Darmanitan. So if he leads Dracozolt, hopefully I can get an Icicle Crash off on him right away. Because if he tries to set screens or something, um, we'll be able to fake him out and get that flinch. I just hope he's not max attack, max speed. To be completely honest, I do not know what type of Grimmsnarl sets have been uh, being run on BGC. So, we'll see. We'll see what you got, buddy. Wismacot and Dracozolt. Okay, I'm completely fine with that. I'm probably expecting a turn one Dynamax. I mean, I really hope his uh, Wismacot don't fake me out. 
So here, let's Icicle Crash Drekazolt. And we will fake out the Wismacot. I hope he just tries to set the Tailwind so we can get this um, fake out off. I've been seeing this Tailwind Prankster Wismacot set all too often. Let's see. Okay, we got our fake out off. Excellent. Well, he didn't Dynamax, so Icicle Crash should take care of this boy. Don't be Sash. Please don't be Sash. Excellent. Okay, so picked up a Throw and KO. That's awesome. And on top of all this, as long as the Wismacot doesn't carry Taunt, I can just set my Reflect right up. Who do you have in the back? Someone else is going to take a beating. Euro Ludon. He is going to destroy my um, Darmanitan. So he should max Steel Spike. I'm going to go into Colossal because Colossal is really bulky. And then I'm just going to... I'll Spirit Break here. I hope the Wismacot doesn't um, Moonblast my Grimmsnarl. But we can try to get a special attack drop on this guy. We're going to see what Darmanitan's really made of. I'd like to think this guy is going to Dynamax. We'll see. Sorry, did I say Darmanitan? See what Colossal's really made of. I think this Max Steel Spike will probably do a third. I'm guessing. I haven't taked one of these yet, but this is Assault Vest and Max HP. I'm also Max Special Attack Mods. So no Spadef investment, but um... Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Come on, Colossal. Do your thing. Wismacot, just Tailwind. Don't attack my Grimmsnarl. Okay, he went for it. That was, that was the play. I hope I survive. I doubt it. Oh, I did! Very cool. I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh yeah, I was uh, focus sashed anyway. E e e. Oh wow, Duro Ludon is a beast. That is some crazy damage. Luckily, we'll be able to get the special attack. Though we'll be able to eat another one. Now, what would be my play here? I'm trying to think. Because I don't want that Tailwind going off, honestly, at this point. So I think at this point, I'm actually going to... I'm going to Dynamax here. And I'm going to drop a Max Lair. Let's get rid of Wismacot. And then we will Sucker Punch. Um, Dura Loot on for some chip. Well, I actually probably should have Sucker Punched Wismacot. That was a bad play on my end, but that's okay. Now, with this being noted, I think uh, Colossal will be able to take um, two more of those max steel spikes. So hopefully we can get some low rolls going and uh, carry this on. Come on. Colossal, do your thing. Be bulky. Nice. Got a little bit of chip with the Sucker Punch. That's fine. Nothing. Nothing. I'm fine with that. Let this Max Flare take care of that Wismacot. This is going well. I think I'll be able to bring um, Dragapult in here and drop a Draco on the Duraluna. So this is great. As, at the moment, for my knowledge, um, what is it? Um, Dar Darmanitan will be the fastest Mon thus far, unless he brought someone else that's faster than Scarf. I think here... What would be the safest play? I think Dragapult, I have to go. Because uh, Darmanitan, with the defense boost that he received, I don't think I'll be able to bust through that. Gastrodon. Now, if my Colossal outspeeds that Gastrodon, I can drop my um, Max Overgrowth on it. So we'll Max Overgrowth that Gastro. Then I'm going to drop a Draco on... Hold on. Is Fire Blast the play, actually? Because that's boosted. I want... No, no, I'm going to drop a Drake. I get Stab on that. And that'll hit really hard. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'll drop the Drake. Play as aggressive as possible. Sweet! Picked up our KO. I was nervous that wasn't going to do it. But that did the job. Now let's see. I hope that uh, Gastrodon, like, scalds my Colossus. I want to see how little this does under the sun and having my Assault Vest on. Oh, wait, Earth Powered. Okay, I forgot he carries that. But even so, look at that. That was a stab Earth Powered. He ate that up. 
but we, we were able to pair up with the Oko too. Col Assault Vested Colossal. I know I'm only in Pokeballs here, but he's kind of a hidden tech. Not sure how hidden is, people might be running him, but um, I came up with the idea off the top of my head, and it, it's been a lot of fun playing it. Cool, picked up a win. Now the other day I got to tier five, but I got dropped all the way down, then I lost uh, I think two matches in a row, knocked me down to tier four, which is unfortunate. So let's see if we can get a win and secure our spot in tier five. Continue badly. Looking good. I'm glad uh, Colossal's actually managing to put in some work, because when uh, this game first dropped, I was so psyched when I saw Roly Coley. I think Colossal's easily one of my favorite mons right next to Perserker, but just his typing, the rock fire, has been so poor in the past, but they gave him respectable stats. His offensive presence really isn't there, but with the Dynamax and capabilities, it really pushes him up there. And I'm not sure on uh, what Zard sets people are running, but his Ancient Power does over half to uh, G-Max Charizard, well, Dynamax Charizard. Takes him down to kind of a mid-yellow, which I was really happy to see, because in uh, singles, I was really surprised when calking uh, Rock-type moves against Charizard Dynamax. He's able to eat him up relatively well. All right, next battle is found. What do we got going on here? All right, this guy is also bringing Dragapult and Darmanitan. We trying to have like a mirror match? I think my play here... Oh man, this is gonna be tough. I think I'm going to lead um... Oh, this is tough. So if he leads Wiz, I need Fake Out support. I feel like Grimmsnarl has to come along. Give me Fake Out. Now who's gonna put on the most pressure? I really like the way Dragapult's looking in this match, to be completely honest. So I'm gonna bring Dragapult. And I think we can bring Corviknight, because he might bring Excedrill, seeing I have Colossal. So we'll bring Corviknight and Dormanitan. Let's see where this can take us. I am a bit spooked by this guy's team. Seeing Excedrill gives me flashbacks to singles and all the, you know, you live and you learn. You get destroyed by that thing a handful of times. Let's see what Trainer K has for us. Fingers crossed for the good lead pick. Fingers crossed. It's probably going to predict my Grimmsnarl lead. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm fine with this. I think. I really want to get rid of this Wismacot right now. So I'm going to double up into this Wismacot. Fake out Fire Blast. I hope Intellion isn't Scarfed. It is, if it is Scarfed, I believe I'll tank an Ice Beam, so I think we're okay. Wismacot, don't fake out my Grimstar. I'll just go for the Tailwind like you always do. Oh, she's thinking a little bit. Okay. Try one Dynamax with Dynamax and Intellion. This Intellion is actually going to be kind of tough to deal with. We'll see how well I can stall the Dynamax. I think I'm gonna try to drop a Max uh, Hailstorm on my Dragapult, but we'll see. Excellent. Wismacot did not fake out. I'm not sure if Wismacot learns fake out or not, but I think she learned in the past. I could be wrong, but please land. Please land. Thank you. I can't tell you how many times I think I missed Fire Blast in this whole Pokemon career. Alright, starts looking good. What's this Intellion gonna do? Max Geyser, okay, I'm fine with that. How well do we eat that up? Took me all the way down to my Sash. Well, at least now we can get a Sucker Punch off or a Reflect. Which, depending who he throws out, I can get a nice Reflect off. Unfortunately, my Dragapult is stuck in, um... Fire Blast, but we can change that if needed. That's too bad. So let's Sucker Punch the Gardevoir. And do I just drop a Max Phantasm here? Yeah. I'm going to Dynamax and I'm dropping Max Phantasm. I hope the, um, the Gardevoir does attack so I can get my Sucker Punch off in case it's carrying something dumb like... 
um, focus stash or something. But I'd like to think by the looks of this, it's going to be like orb or spec. Could very well be wrong. But we'll see. Come on, Dragapult. Please put in some work. Pick up this KO. The call mines. I'm going to be sad. I really want this sucker punch to pop off. Please, sucker. Yes! Okay, we got our needed chip. She is scarfed. Okay, we ate that up, though. I'm happy to see that. Is he gonna drop a max hailstorm? We might eat it. It's not stab. So we very well might eat it. And we got a defense drop on the Italian, too, so I believe their Mantan's looking real good right now. Eat it up, eat it up, please. Like a champ. It sucks he's a plus one right now, but I think I can just throw out Darmanitan and put complete utter pressure on. Or no, I can just go Corviknight. Yeah, I'll play it safe. I'll go the bulky Corviknight. And he brought Dragapult. Luckily, the um, water's up, so... We'll see how this reduced damage will do. I think here... I don't want to take any recoil. I want to be as bulky as possible. And I'll try to max Phantasm the Dragapult. Okay, that's fine. I really hope Corvin and I eats up... Uh, Whoever Dragapult has. Just unfortunately, with the water being up, I think that Intellion is going to destroy my Dormanitan. Come on, please, like, get a crit or something, or don't do a lot of damage. Oh, Thunderbolt, I forgot he carries that all the time. We got, we, oh, this might, this might, KO. Please, KO. This is Max Attack Admin. Do it. Yes! <laughs> we got the crit and everything. I don't know if that mattered. I like to think it did, but Dragapult ain't bulky at all. So we can go Darm now. And uh, I think we can Superpower and Brave Bird. Great Burn Tullian. And then we will superpower. Because he's at minus one defense, so the superpower should knock him out, I think. We have Dormantan. Okay, so this Brave Bird should get him. I'm not sure if I lose, though, because I faint to recoil. I think. I could be wrong. Okay, so you, you fainted first. I think I win. Oh, we survived anyway. We got two good matches in, guys. Without further ado, everybody, that concludes our two live matches. Um, you can see this team works pretty well. Uh, it definitely has probably some like rough spots when you get to the higher tiers, but it's been working for me for now. Um, again, I'll have the rental code in the description. This will be a team that um, could be used for Galar newcomers, but I do believe you'll have to have the Pokemon on your game, so make sure you're breeding and getting ready this week. I'll be coming out with another video on Thursday, debuting a new team of for Galar newcomers, so you guys can get a, another take. I'm, I'm not the best, but it'll give you another perspective on what you're probably going to see uh, running the tournament. And as always, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.